Hello, it's Wendy here from the Indigo Blue team. I've got a project today which is a birthday card. I've realised that it's my sister's birthday at the end of this month, but she's actually going to be away on holiday when it's her birthday, so I can't send it by post nearer the time. But I am seeing her in the next couple of days so I can take it and actually hand it over to her. So at least I can make sure that she gets it in good time. So I'm going to use this giant bee stamp which is one of my favourites. I love this queen bee. Not saying my sister is queen bee, but you know, if the cap fits and all that. So I'm going to use that. So I've already gone ahead and done the background. I've used two of the indigo blue matte paints, the yellow submarine and you've been mangoed. And I think they'll work really well with the bee once that's done. So that's all ready. I want to do a little bit of stenciling and stamping on there, but before I do that, um, I've already stamped and embossed and cut out the B. This is about the limit of my fussy cutting, coming around these antenna and legs, but it is worth it because um, it does look rather spectacular, doesn't it? So you might notice that there's already a tiny little bit of colour on here, I'd um, started this video on another occasion and the Amazon man came and rang the doorbell so I'd got our doorbell sound echoing through the video so I had to can that one and start again. So apologies for that but we'll continue where we left off so to speak. So with the B I want to colour it in using Indigo Blue's Luscious Powders. Um, I like to keep them in my um, Tim Holtz palette and labelled so I know what the different colours are. I have to say this is not my only palette. I've got about three, um, but needs must. So I'm going to start by spraying some water into the orange luscious and mixing it up so that it becomes more of a, a sort of double cream consistency and then we can use that and I think I'm also going to do the same with the um, is it bottled sunshine yes bottled sunshine here and give that a bit of a blend with the water so we can maybe use that as well okay I'll sort of mix these in together a little bit and of course the luscious has got mica in it so it'll give us a bit of a, a shine when it's dry. Actually I quite like the bottled sunshine, I think I won't bother with the, the orange. Or maybe just a dot here and there to, to blend it in. Um, that's a bit much. yellow back in that one I think I'll give the bee a bit of a golden head and on the legs and other parts of it I'm going to bring in the blackbird and get some colour, albeit black, on that part of the bee as well. I'll just go over so some of those white splodgy bits get taken up with the blackbird. Okay, now the wings I'm going to do in a silver, again using the luscious. Um, so I'll give that a 
scratch. Let's see how it's gradually absorbing the water and coming together as a paint. Oops. And I just want to get a bit of a covering on there. I'm going to add an extra layer on the top of that to enhance the, the shimmer. Okay, that's one. Okay, so I can set that to one side and put my Luffus palettes to one side as well. And that can be just drying off while we come back to our background. I want a little bit of extra detail. Um, so I've pulled out some collector's edition stamps. I like this Indian border um, element, this sort of filigree flower. And I think that might be quite pretty in various places. I've got out the Morris flower um, and maybe I'll just do some tone on tone stamping using the, the small flower. Bees are not anything without flowers of course. And then the number 50, the cups, one of my favourites. Um, I just like this shape and the sort of ad hoc randomness of it. Um, so I might use some of that as well. So I'm going to start I think with the um, Morris flower and I'm going to try with my Distress Oxide Spiced Marmalade just to see really how it comes out, whether or not it actually shows up or not. But we'll, we'll see, but I, I don't want too much of it. Um, oh, that's pretty good. I quite like that. Yep, and I think that might be enough of that one. Just clean my stamp up with a bit of tissue. I'll try this one similarly with the orange. second generation stamping down the bottom here and even third generation up there. Give it a bit more. for that one. Put that back on its laminate. And then for the cups, I think I'll add in a slightly different colour. I'll go to the old favourite vintage photo. And I don't mind if it's overlapping what I've already done. It's just I'll add in a little bit of texture a bit of background detail. How is that looking? That's going to sort of cover up that main part. I've got something that I want to put up there. Okay, I think that 
is enough. All right, let's put those to one side. The next thing I've got to do is I've got a little bit of music here that I want to put up in this top corner, I think. I've got some honeycomb that I've die cut. Um, my bee is going to come in here. And then a sentiment down at the bottom, which I think will be fine. So this needs to go on first. So I'm going to use grab and glow grab and glow grab and go glue put that in place make sure I've twisted the nozzle the right way yep there it comes and just pop that in that corner I want to put some of this glue yeah, it sticks on the back of my hand and tap it on. It does dry clear, but you don't want to get it absolutely everywhere. So just a bit of a, a touch in some places will be enough to stick it down. Okay. And the B, I think I will put, oh, I haven't finished it yet because I want to put something extra on the wings. I thought just to enhance the sparkle, I'd use some Slap It On Fabric Sparkles. This is great. I'll take the nozzle off and I'll actually get a little bit out with a brush. Onto my mat. Don't need a lot, but the glitter is wonderful and it just gives everything that fabulous shine. So I'll paint that on. Sometimes fingers are better than brushes, aren't they? The original tools. Okay, I think that's going to do nicely. Just a tiny bit more on the edge. You can never have too much sparkle. There we go, I don't know if you can pick that up. All the different colours of glitter there shining through. So I'll put the lid back on there. Put that to one side. Okay, I think I'll put that, as I said, on a foam pad. Um, so just flick it over. These foam pads are available from Indigo Blue. I can't remember what the price is, because to be honest, it's so long since I've bought them because you get so many in a pack, they seem to last for ages, but they're really good value. And I'm just going to flick off the little bits of paper. Oops. It's always one that's a bit awkward to lift off, isn't there? I don't know which is worse sometimes. These are red line tape. I think it's red line tape, to be honest. Okay, get those into the bin. And 
and let's put our B in place. About there, I think. Right, that's looking pretty good. I've already stamped out the Queen Bee sentiment, stamped it in black and embossed it. Um, I think I want to put it on a bit of a black matte layer to tone in. So I've got a bit of black card. I'm just going to eyeball for cutting that and hope for the best in terms of getting a straight edge. okay and again I'm going to put some grab and go on the back of this attach it to the, the black layer hmm I have got some um, sparkle on my fingers which is transferring to the the black matte layer. So what I might do is, is that straight? It didn't look straight to me. I think I need to just trim that off. This is the trouble when you're doing it by eye. You finish up trimming and trimming and you finish up with nothing left. That's better. So I think I might go with the sparkles again and just put a little bit over the whole lot. And then the bit that transferred from my fingers doesn't look like it's a mistake. Sometimes you just have to think on your feet and work out how you can correct things that go a little bit wrong. But I think that's worked out okay. I'm happy with that. So Fabric Sparkles back again. Now, I was going to put the crown from the Queen Bee on, but I don't think that that's going to look right certainly wasn't going to do this and fussy cut out with these little inner pieces. So I think I'm going to leave the crown off and I'm just going to attach the sentiment, the queen bee. Pop it down here. We've got a nice diagonal flow going on. So the composition works. And that is more or less it apart from the matting and layer so this is um i'm ready to put it on a well, it's meant to be a six by six card but when you measure it it's something like five and three quarters so it'll fit in the envelope so i've done five and three quarter there so i've done my matte layer as five and a half and my actual card piece topper as five and a quarter so i'm going to mount the topper on to the black card. Let's grab and go does the job really well. And line it up and stick it down. I always like to use a clean bit of paper between my fingers on my work because <laughs> like I said before you either get glue or sparkles or paint or something where you don't necessarily want it. All right I need a little bit of glue just under there so what I do for that situation is get myself a little bit of scrap card, put some glue on the end rather than bend the card back, just slide that underneath so that it picks up the glue. 
and then stick it down. Same here. little silicon tool is my favourite friend for just scooping off any squidgy bits of glue that ooze out from your project. I think that should be okay. We're okay down here. And finally, making sure, of course, that the card is the right way round. Hopefully, if you get the top right, the bottom should take care of itself. Just hold that just briefly to allow it to grab. Bring in my little friend. And there we are, birthday card for my sister, Queen Bee. Hope she likes it. I tend not to put sentiments like happy birthday and things because I kind of like to think people will either save them or have them on show for a bit longer than their birthday. So I'll put a sentiment inside that says happy birthday or I'll write my own little message. So there it is, using indigo blue paints, slap it on, um, sorry um, slap it on fabric sparkles um, and the wonderful giant bee stamp set hope you enjoyed that um, if you do make anything using indigo blue products don't forget to share them on our facebook page i love indigo blue thanks for watching bye